Um, shit. Help! Fire! Oh my god. What the hell? Damn it! Come on! Hey everyone, my name's Mike and welcome back to Telltale Games Game of Thrones. In the last episode, we played as um, Garrett to start with, I think. And Duncan came to visit from House Forrester and he told Garrett that um, there's a secret behind on north of the wall that Lord Forrester knew about before he died. And we're trying to investigate what that is and it, apparently it's like this secret place where I don't even know what's there to be honest but we need to find out what's there once we go north of the wall and kind of desert from the the, um, the Night's Watch. And we ended the episode playing as Roderick and um, Lord Whitehill's men commanded by Roose Bolton. Um, are pushing their way now into the the whole um, Forrester house and just taking over and Roderick needs to do something about that so um, that's what happened at the end of the episode so we're going to continue now and I think we're playing as someone else right now so let's jump into this it looks like we're in the north still yeah Roderick still Griff Whitehill that's not Lord's fourth ball parading in here like a conquering fucking hero it was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if it drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. Like he's the cock and we're in his roost. Whether he rides out on horseback or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles. Or the end of them. I'm being very pushy as Roderick now because he's supposed to be a leader. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. Where's Lord Whitehill, then? He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Alright, so we can have an attack. Um, Gwyn at uh, Ironrath, which is the, where we're living pretty much, or we can go to save Ryan. Hmm, Ryan's just a kid all alone at High Point, and we've got our people still, haven't we, in Ironrath? So it's kind of like we're sacrificing all of our people to save Ryan, or we're kind of sacrificing Ryan to save our people. Uh, I really feel bad for the kid, Ryan, because he's just be, he's been taken ever since, um, is it Ethan? Ever since Ethan got killed. I want to go get e Ryan, because he's been there for so long now. We get Ryan out, and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take um, this occupation for so long. Uh, if you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those oh, right. forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. 
which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come, but it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? You can kind of see how this game's going to end now. It's going to depend on how well I do with each character. And the big finale is going to be how well they um, stocked up Roderick and his men are going to be. There may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet, away from her father's guards. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted, but best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes. I'm feeling quite confident of how things are going to be going with each character. The only one I'm not feeling too confident about is Mira. Because, I don't know, I don't feel like the conversations are going too well with Tyrion. And getting his help with the coin. So uh, that's a bit. That's the only one I'm a bit shaky on on how well they're gonna do with that storyline. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers, they're just all wrong in the Crown Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. Oh shit. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny Cause, me. Because I think we'll speak to Tyrion later, hopefully. Hopefully. Mira. Fuck. Go, Tyrion. Please oh, excuse oh, me oh no. Moment, my lady. I promise I won't oh, shit. Shit. Biscuits. Oh, no. I shouldn't have said that. I kind of felt like I wouldn't get a chance. Oh, my God. Although, after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Uh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal good. decree sits on my desk now. Good. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Okay, so we're getting the money, that's good. But also we pissed off uh, Marjorie. Today Look, oh god, days. shit. <laughs> no, I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Yes. I agree. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. We've done there what's best for the family. Because I'm not even sure, actually, if we had to speak to Tyrion. Because I think we kind of agreed with Tyrion there. That's why we had to speak to him. Maybe if we didn't speak to him, he wouldn't go through with the papers. I don't know. Gary. Whoa. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? Oh, God. He was just delivering Ironwood shields for the Night's Watch. Good. 
Our stocks are running low. I know it couldn't be easy seeing him, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend, if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? You. Well, I know I can talk <laughs> to you, John. I'm <laughs> flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Brit Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. House Whitehill. This one's the Boltons. Oh, that's the guy that killed my father. Gary. Gary, what's the matter? You know him? Yes. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the Maester. Don't do something you regret. I'll find my time. When we go north of the wall. If He's a dead man. A fucking pig farmer. Fuck you. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Welcome to the wall, brother. Looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. Get a haircut as well, a better one. Yeah, bell end. <laughs> All right, the wedding is approaching. Is it? Is it on now? This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. You just don't get it, Sarah. I've been fighting for my family's lives here, and what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved them. Whether you have a seat at the wedding just isn't as important. I see. Well, I hope it was worth it, because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you, but I suppose you have a right to know. I can handle this. She's only thinking about it, right? There's still time. It's funny how things change, isn't it? It must be hard for you not to be the favorite anymore. Sarah! Don't be a bitch. It wasn't too long ago. I was asking for your help with Marjorie. And you were there for me. Good girl. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. Yes, please. You just need to ask. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Thank you, Sarah. I could really use a hand right now. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll Good. figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. You're awesome. She's she's good. We've got a friend. Oh no! They're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. We know what's going to happen soon as well. It's the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared, I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. I don't forget a face. Excuse me, I don't have time to bother with your questions. <laughs> uh, seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. So very soon, 
Joffrey is going to be in for a surprise. Because I've seen the doves. You see, if you watch a TV show, you know what's going to happen. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. Thank you. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest iron. Very observant. You are no mere handmaid. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of Ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? Yep, here we go. Interrupted. Tyrion's being accused. The king is dead by poison. What happened? Oh, no, no, no. Joffrey's dead. I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no! He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. Let's go to his desk. You understand, Lady Mira. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. Be quick. Let's do it now. Let's run to his chambers <laughs> while everyone's running around wild. That's a perfect time. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. Are we gonna go get it now? It looks like we're kind of running. Oh shit, the guards. Oh no. They're watching her. Okay. Let's get it. Um, open. Damn it. Shit. Well, what do you expect? <gasps> In seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? <sighs> Can you climb around? I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly round here. Tom, I really need your help here. I can't do this alone. Just be careful. 
I'm kind of using him here. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. This could end well, end bad for this kid. But cat part of me feels like it's worth it. He's a, he's only a cult. Oh god. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I work for Lady Marjorie. Queen Marjorie. She asked me to wait here. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Fuck. I'm not going to ask you again. What? Did Oi. you fall in? Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once! In the name of the king! What can we do? You! Don't move! Oh, of course. Tom! It's me! Hurry! Okay, just get this and run. Close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Good lad. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Almost lost my footing. Thank you, Tom. I could never have done this without. You should have said hurry there. That was a mistake. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. Thank you, mate. We got so we got some good allies as mirror. Right, look at desk. Yes, it's on his desk. He said, didn't he? He said that it would be on his desk. Uh, on his desk, on his desk. Parchment, is that it? Nothing. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Okay, you need to find this quick. This. Oh, oh another bloody Shh. letter. Oh fuck. Um, quick, quick, quick. What about the, the box? Killian strong box. Oh, it must be in here. Right. Oh fuck. I think the Lannister guard is back. No, no, it's the other one. Damn it, hide! I'll find a way to distract them. Okay. I'm gonna look in the drawer next chance, cause uh shit. What's that? Get in there, whatever that is. Behind the curtains, is it? Okay. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lock boxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. Uh so that's the key we need. So the kid said he's gonna distract, didn't he? Um, shit. Help! Fire! Oh my god. What the hell? Damn it! Come on! Oh, this kid is amazing. He saved my ass so many times. I'm gonna marry this kid <laughs> when he comes of age. <laughs> he's a beautiful kind. You did it. How? I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. I'll bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think, I think it has to be in here. It has to be. Uh, does, I don't know. Any key? No, 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 no. Just hurry. Come on. That one then. Oh. Fuck. Come on. Go. <gasps> it worked. Is this? Yes. Oh, thank the gods. Let's get out of here now. I found it. Finally. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Nice. We did it. <coughs> if I catch the bastard who... I'll bring their bloody... Nice. They made it. All right, guys. And another end to another scene. Um, we're going to be starting off playing a different character at the start of the next um, part. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.